everyone and welcome to another episode. Today is a very exciting day, but kind of a sad day as well though. Uh, we're going to go ahead, a lot of you may or may not have known that I am going to be trading in our boat and getting a new one. And the day has finally arrived where we're going to do that. So I figured I might as well vlog, show you guys the experience, so you guys know, uh, you know, the whole deal that went behind. I just don't want to make a video with a brand new boat. I know you guys have been watching me fish out of the tracker since 2012 or 2013 forget the exact year that we bought it. Kind of sad because it just has so many memories. I mean, heck, I caught my biggest bass ever of my life out of there and we've just been a great boat, but it's time to move on. So let's go ahead and let's get this day going and we're gonna go pick up the new one. Here's the old girl right there. 2013 Bass Tracker 175. Mercury four stroke. This thing's been an awesome motor. Love it. We've ran this thing hard, a lot harder. I'd say it's safe to bet that we've ran this Bass Tracker harder than nine out of 10 bass trackers, honestly. 175, 2013, like I said, got the tarp on right now. Baby, this, the baby, this, this boat right here, it's in really good shape, so next owner should be really happy with it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead, I gotta move my truck right now. Move it up on the street, and we're gonna go ahead and drive to Weedas, and uh, so we'll drop this boat off and take a look at the new one and bring her home. There she is. Just got to Marine right now. Gonna go in and talk to Sean. Do what has to be done. Let's go ahead and get this ball rolling. Been waiting for this for about 10 weeks now. How you doing? Good. You cold? Yeah. I'm Rich Young. My son, How you doing? Hunter knows you. Talk to you or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I talked to him at the uh, the boat show that we were. Here it is, man. There she is. You can bring him out front. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna go through the boat with him. So, what do you think? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So glad I went to these. Oh yeah, that yeah. makes it a little nicer. Yeah. That's what I've got on my boat. Just like, Looks sharp. Yeah. Well, about the seats, huh? Yeah, you like it? He was worried about the seats. <laughs> they look just like I thought they it would. Looks smoky, I like it. Smoky. Okay everyone, we're here at Weedas Marine right now. Just went ahead and picked up our boat, pulled it around front, traded in the old tracker, went ahead and checked it over and got the new Phoenix right here. Looking good. Everything turned out perfect. I love the seats on it. And then right at the last minute, I switched on the, the graphs to get them mounted differently. But everything looks really good. Going over the, uh, the procedures with the break-in, and it's a two-stroke, a little bit different from the one we had before. 175 Pro XS. So yeah, everything looks really good on it. Any kind of a, any kind of a, What's up, Sean? Hey, All what's right. going on? Hey folks, Sean Weeda here with Weeda's Marine. And today we're checking out Cole's new Phoenix 618. This has been a long time in the making. You know, Cole got the itch for a Phoenix way back at the Cincinnati Boat Show. And uh, we checked out a lot of different boats. And ultimately the Phoenix 618 is what he went with. I want to take you for a quick tour, show you a little bit about the Phoenix boats, okay? First thing that you'll notice in the Phoenix boats is they've got real ergonomic seats, okay? If you're a big guy, if you're a little guy, you're going to have room for these seats. you got lots of leg room under the console. So, you know, if you're six foot five or you're five foot five, you're gonna be comfortable in this boat. Now, a couple options that Cole decided to go with and we set him up and rig. 
was the precision sonar brackets. What that does is it's going to take his HDS9 Gen 3, it's going to take it away from the dash, put it closer to his fingertips so that he can touch the screen and he's going to be able to, to be able to access this sonar and do a little better. That's just part of the custom rigging that we do here at Weedis Marine. Right. Okay, we go to the front end of the Phoenix. What's cool about it, it's a pro dash. We've got a really large front deck. This is an 18 and a half foot bass boat, but we've got one of the largest decks in the industry, okay? It's going to give you plenty of room to get up here to aggressively move around, pitch, flip, roll cast, put you in a really aggressive stance. Now again, Cole decided to go with the precision sonar bracket. It's going to take this other HES-9, elevate it up, puts it closer to your eyes, gives you a better line of sight, and, and you're able to better see your electronics, okay? You know, we've got a Minn Kota 4 Trex, you know, it's going to give him plenty of power, whether he's hacking through the weeds or he's cutting through the brush to get him where he's going. But, you know, Phoenix, what, what a lot of what makes a Phoenix boat is, they go the extra mile, they put a little, little bit extra into the boats, like the stainless steel compressing latches, all the way down to even your support rods or stainless steel that's a really nice feature with the phoenix that uh, kind of shows you some of the extra quality that goes into it uh, we move on to the back of the phoenix you can see it's real clean back here we've got a jack plate 175 pro xs this is make sure cole gets to cover a lot of water when he's out there you know fishing his tournaments and, and it's going to be a very fuel efficient package what a lot of folks don't realize you can go with an 18 and a half foot boat like this you're going to run the same speeds that a lot of 19 footers with 225s run but you're going to spend a lot less you know money out of your pocket on fuel folks weed is marine we're a large dealer we carry the largest selection of phoenix in the united States. We've got Skeeter Boats, we've got Triton, we've got Legend, we've got Bullet. Uh, we're really excited to working with Cole here on his new 618. We know he's going to catch a lot of fish and we appreciate you taking time to watch. Okay guys, just got everything squared away with our boat right now. Back here in the rigging shop. I just want to go over a quick little tour of a boat shop. Right now we're down at Weedas Marine. This is where we got our boat at. And I figured, let me get back in the sun. I figured I never really have shown you guys like a behind the scene tour of a boat shop. You know, this is where we get our boats from the fish tournaments. This is the guys that rig them. And it's just a really cool experience. I know personally the few videos are on YouTube of this. I really enjoy watching them. It's just cool to, you know, see what goes into the boats and who makes the boats you know ready to fish when you get them right here this is where the, all the rigging gets done this is where they pull in the boats right before they rig them this is where our boat was when we picked it up they have all their parts right here transducers the cables they even have some power poles that they just got done putting on some boats these are some power pole blades you got the tracker that they use to talk move around the boats once they get them in the boat yard There's a bunch of what looks to be more power poles and just all the equipment that they use to put on the boats, you know, you got the power pole adapter plates, and mounts, mounts for the trolling motors, chopsticks, Yamaha lube, spike wrap, everything you need to make sure your boat is rigged properly. And this is their bay area. This is where they pull in the boats when they're getting ready to rig them. So the ones that are getting ready to rig, they pull in the boats here and they can do rigging from here as well. So you can get a lot of boats in here. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five. You can fit five to, you know, eight boats in here so they can get the rigging done if it's raining or anything, just to keep them out of the elements and work better. Uh, and make everything perfect. Here's our boat right here. They just got done testing it, making sure the motor's ready for the next customer. Had a lot of good memories out of it, but you know, it's time to move on and hopefully it'll catch just as many fish as it is for us for the next customer. You know, we as Marine, they carry a huge inventory of boats. You know, right here in the back, this is their used boats. This is where our boat will go. And uh, these are all the used boats. As you can see, a lot of these are trade-ins. Uh, a lot of these is just where they sell them. And these are all the used boats right here. As you can see, they even sell pontoons. There's a lot of glass boats here, but look, there's one, two, I'm sure there's, there's three. There's, you know, a lot of pontoons. There's aluminum boats like ourselves. There's an older bass tracker sitting back there. And so, you know, it's cool. There's a, a, a fishing ski. So it's just cool to see this going into a Marine. As you can see, uh, I went with a Phoenix. I just love that, that boat. I've always loved them ever since I have, you know, heard about the Phoenix. I just like the way they fish. This is my type of boat. At Weedas, you know, they, they specialize in a Phoenix boat. That's one of the main boats brands that they sell. Of course, they can, of course they can sell any type of boat once it comes in use, but Phoenix is one of their main brands that they sell new. And if you come up to the front, this is where they have all their newer boats. Tons of Phoenix. They sell new Triton, new Phoenix, of course, new Legends, Bullets, Skeeters, a lot of boats. They have a really wide selection if you want to buy new boats. And this is my favorite section right here, the Phoenix side. Look at all these birds, different colors. So, you know, a lot of these boats, you don't even have to wait the eight to nine weeks. They sell such a variety, you don't have to wait. We didn't have to wait. 
but that's just what we chose to do. So they sell so many colors. You see they got the neon green, the whites, the blues, a bunch of different colors, the black and whites. You don't have to wait the nine weeks. You can get it that day if you want to. Okay, everyone, so we're just wrapping up our little tour of Wheatas Marine. This is just a really cool place to be, and it, they treat you well here. They're really nice people. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm getting ready to go out, run my Phoenix, but I'm really excited for it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time on Big Bass Master 1.